Hi guys. So I went through all of the questions from the last, first of all, you guys are also great. This is so nice. I hope this channel doesn't grow anymore because one, I don't need to add 10 pennies and two, everyone is so nice and everyone said nice things, which I didn't expect. I just wanted your opinion and your thoughts on things. And then like some of you said some really nice things. I'm fine. But uh, <laughs> So you guys are great, is point number one. Uh, number two, I will put timestamps below. As always, I talk too much. I, we know how this goes, like, let's be real. So whatever you want to know, go to the timestamps in the description box below, because no one needs to watch this whole thing. So anyway, I thought I would dive into the questions first and then an update on the mentorship program that I'm going to be releasing. Okay, let's dive into it. <laughs> And I also took notes so I don't actually forget your questions because I cannot do that just off the top of my head. So, number one was how do you actually build a sustainable freelance business? And one thing I wish that like I had started working on a long time ago was ways to sell like not just my time. Because freelancing is still selling your time for money it's really not that different than a job in that aspect of course like you have more control over how much you make and like everything is in your control which is terrifying and exhilarating at the same time but i wish i had earlier focused on like and i'm not just saying like oh create a copywriting course but like other things that like potential clients could buy like packages done for you copy kind of like DIY copy like ebooks that kind of thing like I wish I had expanded it more in that way throughout all these years I mean I still plan to make them now but I wish I had just done that a little bit sooner so I could have gotten off of the selling my time treadmill so if you want to build an actual sustainable business like I, I realize especially after going through all the questions that there's like two groups of people well, no, there's a lot, but like there's people dabbling in it, but mainly there's like, I want to be a freelance writer and build a business out of this and like create a whole, like, I want that to be my life. And like, I just want to like make some extra money here and there on the side of my already day job as a copywriter. So like that pertains more to this group than like that group, but something to just keep in mind if you plan to, uh, grow. How do I get over the fact my first pieces will suck? You can't. You just can't. Like, this is where 90% of people stop. This is where... This is why I have no problem giving as much information on YouTube as possible. Because I only know, like, 1% is actually going to, like, take anything I say and, like, go do something with it. Like... And I know that. So I'm not, like, scared. People... Few people ask me like about competition and like aren't I like nervous to like give as much and it's like no because like almost almost done to don't do it. Think of how much information out there on like getting into shape and how many people are in shape. Like information is not all you need, but I don't mind being transparent for the few people who are gonna take it and run with it. Anyway, what was the question? How to? Okay, <laughs> uh, you just have to deal with the fact that they're going to suck. Like, your first pieces are going to suck so hard. I have burned mine into the ground and I cannot find any of them. And I don't want to find them. A few people ask, like, can you look at your, like, old pieces and audit them again? I'm like, no. They don't exist. And they will die that way. Okay? So, like, <laughs> they were bad. I don't... I mean, like... But also, at the same time, keep in mind that... It's totally fine that you charge for your work. Number one, like, don't go charging, like, $10,000 a page because you're not there yet. Period. Period. So, but, like, if you're charging something fair and you really give it your best effort, you're still usually a better writer than, like, the client themselves would be. Like, most people don't know how to write copy for themselves, even, like, at all. They have spent no time researching it etc etc so you even being like one percent better than them can justify your price so just know that like you're not scamming people you're not hurting people like you're genuinely trying and you're learning and charge appropriately and then like as you learn you charge more and as you learn you charge more but they're gonna suck period and nothing i can teach you is gonna avoid like the sucking process like i can help you 
navigate a little bit and teach you some tricks here and there, but generally it's you're still gonna look back in a few years and cringe. And if you don't look back in a few years and cringe, you haven't grown at all and you really need to like process that. <laughs> um number three are we in three? Mm. Ever thought about going digital nomad? Um, I mean, in the most technical sense, I could be. Like, I already work from home. I don't have any office to go to. I don't have anyone to report to. I don't have stuff for myself. Um, so I could. Like, I could easily go and travel and work. But, like, it just never interested me. I really like my life here. I like my friends here. Um, I mean, I certainly want to travel more. And I certainly want to explore working on making my business a little um, more like hands off over the next year or two and creating more systems and structure to like kind of make it like self-sustaining without, without me having to put so much light of my own time into it, which I will be documenting. I will be having a series like maybe like once a month on like what I'm doing and then like a recap on and then like the next month. So like for people to follow along if they want to do something similar ish. But just as of now, I'm just, like, I just am offering, I had, like, an ebook up for, like, a hot second, but it, um, it's okay. And I may tweak it and resell it, but anyway. Huh, anyway. Focus, me. <laughs> Resources you recommend in relation to copywriting and business management. Um... The reason I don't spend a lot of time recommending any resources is because I think a lot of people spend way too much time learning and they don't spend enough time doing. So I try and, like avoid recommending things because people go out and buy these five books and then think that they know like that that somehow writing one page of copy will teach you more than reading five books on goddamn copywriting like I read so many books and like they didn't they minusculely helped compared to just getting out there and getting practice it's just like when I was a personal trainer and people asked me how to get in shape. I was like, go to the gym. Start with walking. And then just like pull up like any routine. Any routine in the world on YouTube and just like do two exercises and then leave. Build the habit and like tweak as you go. Maybe hire a personal trainer. Like maybe. But the point is starting. Like there's no book that will get you into shape. Period. There isn't. There, they'll help you refine. But so I don't recommend resources that much. Only for that reason, because I think people will go and like, I want people to take action if you're not going to take action on things and like, please unsubscribe, just go, just go. Like, I'm the only person who will like kick people off of my, I kick people off my email list all the time who don't open it after a certain point. Like, go, this is not, go, go follow someone who's just going to like feed your ego and like, let you just live in a world where you think you're like making action steps and you're not. Mainly this is a call out to like younger me who like sat too much around like thinking about a lot of things. Writers, we're all in our heads. Okay, so like action, people, action. However, with that little rant aside, I will say if you do want to know about business, Cred Ballantyne and Bedros Koulian are great resources. They both know a lot about business. They're both cool people. Um, Ashley Amberger, who I've recommended 500,000 times almost every one of her products and services. Now she does recommend, she does market more to like women, but it doesn't matter. There's the advice and everything she sells and everything she says is like solid. So, and then Ramit Sethi. I, I recommend him all the time. And he, he's one of the best and his, he's always marketed himself as like his free material is better than everyone else's paid material. So, it's true. It's tr just like go and you can like download, read hundreds of his articles and like download all his ebooks and like it's all for free and it's like you will have to get into his email list but like his emails are great so like I'm just saying. And then Cal Newport is my favorite writer um, at the moment in terms of productivity and creating like deep work and how to work better. Yeah, his book, Deep Work, I would recommend for, like, anyone wanting to get into, like, a creative field and do the strategies in the book. Best book ever. But it's not about copywriting or business management. It's about managing your brain, which is 
more important than anything else because as a copywriter you have to uh, maintain your creativity, you have to maintain your energy, you have to maintain like your work ethic. And the only way to do that is make sure you don't get burned out because I got burned out so many times throughout my career, which I will cover in another video. But if you can avoid that, do. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can see that this is dating launch. That's fine. Uh, how to grow your confidence as a beginner. There is no, there's no trick. You just have to get better and you have to do the work. You have to do the work. There, There's no... There's nothing I could say. There's nothing Gary Vaynerchuk could say that could like motivate you to give you the confidence. You just have to start and like, and like balance it. Like start, but like then go like do something fun for 10 minutes to like, cause it's, it's, it's a lot and it's scary, especially like cold pitching clients. Like all of these things are incredibly nerve wracking, but like just do it like once and then like run away from your computer for like an hour, you know, like but there's nothing that can give you confidence until you start. Okay. Uh, okay, this one's gonna get me like 3,000 down votes, but here we go. What are your thoughts on the most popular and copywriting gurus on the internet? Guys like Dan Lott, blah, blah, blah. Do their teachings actually work or are they fooling the masses by sugarcoating the process? Um, first off, anyone that you follow that gets you to take action and get started in something is good. I think that's good. Even if they're like a bad influence. I mean, I'm not saying like your local drug dealer is like a good influence, but like, you know, like if someone motivates you and speaks to you in a way that gets you started, I think that's a really good, powerful thing. I have a lot of weird people that I follow that like, but the, something about how they talk and something about how they like motivate me, get me going. Um, and that just works for me, which is why I'm not like sitting here like recommending so many people all the time. I think there's some people who are just like fantastic at what they do. And then there's other people that are just for me that like just motivate me in like the way I need. So on one hand, if it motivates you to get you going, great. If you are following all of their content and you're not taking action, that's a problem. And that doesn't matter who that is, right? Like there are some people who are very legitimate and there are some people who are maybe not so legitimate, but either which way, if you're just sitting there in like a circle jerk forever following their content, not doing anything, they're not, they're not good for you. Okay. So there's that, there's that. <sighs> on the other hand, um, I have gotten like 300 comments on Dan Lott and, and other people and like, I couldn't find much about them. I went to their YouTube and it was like good, solid typical business advice. I didn't find anything like wildly um, outside the box, but also I didn't deep dive. I didn't like spend hours. I just watched like a handful of videos, some of the most popular. Um, I couldn't find much about them outside of like their own content. So I cannot confirm or deny whether they know what they're talking about. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I watched some, thought it was just like nuggets that I've come across in like some of the most popular business books. So if you want to skip reading all the business books, like you can just go watch their content. That's great. Like good nuggets in there. Um, but I couldn't find much about them as people. Whereas like you can give Gary Vaynerchuk all the shit you want. And like a lot of people do, which is so fair. I have gone on and off the Gary V train for a long time, but, um, all of his claims have been looked into by like reporters and like journalists and you can see his office and you can see him working with like Oprah and people who um establish that kind of like credibility and a lot of these other copywriters I don't I don't see them with um I don't want to say that like being with celebrity somehow like validates your existence but there's also something to like I mean you know, like Gary was on the show. Also, Gary's not like selling a course and he's very clear that it takes a lot of hard work and you're probably not going to be a millionaire. Like, and you could probably be okay with just making like 50 to 75 K doing what you love. And he's clear about that and he doesn't have a course and he doesn't anything. He's not actually selling anything, which is an interesting strategy. And I don't knock selling something. I think it's a great strategy. Okay. I'm just going a long way around saying that I, I, I don't know. I don't know, and I wouldn't spend thousands of dollars to uh, 
someone that I could not confirm whether what they said is true or not. Like Wikipedia, New York Times, The Guardian, like a real established uh, source that can confirm all these things they say. Also, never trust anyone who says you're going to be a millionaire. Never. Just anyone who says that their program will make you a millionaire. It's so full of shit. <laughs> okay. That's just my take. A lot of you follow me because I'm just honest and upfront and like, maybe they're legit. I couldn't prove it. If someone can prove opposite besides like their own content saying that they are like, like I could make a whole bunch of claims and then like my source is my website. Like <laughs> my source is my video saying like, I'm a millionaire. Like here's my Lamborghini in my garage. The fucking title of this. So. Also, I think a lot of these gurus preach that, like, copywriting is somehow automatically, like, a six-figure career just by, like, I choose to be a copywriter. Where's my money? Like, that's not how it works. That's not how most copywriters are broke as fuck. So broke. So dead broke. So many people through the years I've known have started and stopped it. Stopped because, like, they couldn't make money. They couldn't eat. They couldn't pay their bills. So they quit and they went into other things. Like... At least like 95% of the people I've met through the years who were copywriters left at some point. And I have quit at started and stopped at some points. I mean, it was only like for two months and mostly I just wasn't good at like work-life balance. But uh, most people are broke and anyone who tells you that this is some like money-making giant big career, like if that's what you're getting into it for, I mean, that's possible. I don't know that. Never mind. You know, if you want to get into it for money, like, go ahead. But also, it's a lot of hard work. So, like, <laughs> there's a lot of... Mm, if you just want to make money, like, I don't... I don't know if this is what I would recommend you do with your time in life. But, anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, wow, great. Now that's been 18 minutes. Okay, so, if you just skip to this part and skip the whole Q&A, probably did life choice. <laughs> and... <laughs> If you are done with the Q&A, you don't hear about the mentorship, it's been good to see you. I will see you in the next video. And, but for the people who are here about the mentorship openings, um, I noticed everyone fell in about, I noticed everyone fell into about like three different categories. Like the first one is they're just dipping their toes in. They're not really sure. They're just kind of like watching my videos to like learn more about copywriting or they want to do it like later down the line. Um, the second group are people who just need a little guidance, they need a little, like, tweaking here and there, they need to just pick my brain. There's something that's not clicking and they're not sure what yet and they just need, like, a little refinement. And then, um, then they go. And then the third people are, like, fully ready to commit. They want this, like, they want this to be their career by the end of this year. Like, they want to go all in. They want to start freelancing for real. They want this to be... They're fully in and committed. They know this is what they want to do and they have the experience to do so. So, um, so for each of those groups, number one, if you're in the dipping in the toes area or you have zero budget, because some of you mentioned that like you're going through money problems, um, I can't have that on my conscience. Do not, do, I, do not pay for anything I sell. Okay, do, I am going to make videos and I will be answering all the questions and I will be covering everything that I get to in a mentorship thing, like throughout the videos. I am taking the next three days and I am filming so many videos. So I should be like a month ahead. Now, whether I get them up and edited in time, we'll see. But it is coming. So I cannot have that on my conscience that like you spent like money when you... If you have to make the choice between hiring and working with me and, like, eating, paying your bills, saving money, don't, I, as much as I would love to take your money, thank you so much, please don't. Just wait until you're in a better position, keep following my videos, we will get you there, okay? But I cannot have that in my brain, okay? Yes, I'm probably one of the only people on the internet who's like, don't buy from me. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> but here we are. Like I said early in my Q&A, Ramit Sadie has always said that he wants his free material to be better than other people's paid material. And that is how I plan to approach everything. I don't plan to hold anything behind a paywall, like really. It just the mentorship will make 
all of my advice and my experience, it's like specific for like your specific situation. That's all, but I'm not gonna hold anything back that like I'm not going to put on this YouTube channel eventually, okay? So if that's what you want, we will get there. We will cover all these questions, I promise. So for the other people in the other two groups, the little push and the little deep dive ready to go, I'm gonna have two tiers. It's gonna be one is gonna be like a power hour session or like a good like five to 10 emails if you're like not on my time zone because like I'm a mountain standard time. And some people don't like talking on the phone. I get it. A lot of us are writers. We're little introverts. It's fine. Like, I get it. So, like, just I'll call it a power hour of, like, time. And we can either just get on the phone or on Stripe or whatever for an hour. Or just emails back and forth and just, like, hammer out your questions. Um, I'm trying to include a few things. I'm trying to hammer, like, those down that they will be. What I plan to, like, just send over as a, as a, as soon as you buy the, like, hour. Um... Potentially like how to find your niche, how to send your pitch, how to keep track of all your cold emailing, where to find them, um, how I manage a client load, etc, etc. So like th that will be that and I will send that along and then we'll talk about it and we'll go over everything. You'll send me like where you're at in the beginning so I can think about how to like approach this hour. You know, I don't want you to just like tell me everything within that hour because then I won't have enough time to like process it and like really give you like better advice for what to do. So it would be like, okay, here's where I'm at. Here's my experience. Here's my like portfolio. Here's where I'm stuck. Here's this. And then we'll schedule it all and then we'll hop on and then we'll hammer all of that out and we'll. So that's my thought on that one. Still writing the copy, finishing that. As soon as this video goes up, there should be a link down below of like that. We can go chat that out. And then for the month long one, we will pick a start date, we'll pick an end date. And in that month, um, and it's not very cost effective to me, I've realized at the time that like, uh, but it's going to rely heavily on getting their like the students, that feels weird, feedback to like how I can tweak it and make it better. So thus why the price is at where it's at. And also I will need, um, for the month long one, I also want people to apply instead of just like being able to buy it because I want to make sure that I know I can help you with your situation. I want to like go through and make sure that I can actually help just as much as I said earlier, I would love to just take everybody's money. I cannot do that. And I want to make sure I can actually help you. Otherwise, I will just be wasting your time and your money and that is not a good feeling on my conscience. So, um, so for that one, the difference between the two that's really going to make the difference is on the month long one, it's going to be like every, you have to be ready to fully commit to this, at least like half an hour a day of like pitching and like, and if you land a client, then like you really got to make time for this and be ready for this. And this is every week I want updates on how many pitches you sent, how many responses you've heard. Um, I'm going to be ready to answer your questions. Like if you're negotiating with a client, I'm ready to like help you do that and what to say and how to um, structure it. And, and then also I'm thinking of adding on like with that, not like as an extra money feature, just included, um, looking over copy that you write. I don't want to write it because I think that that is ethically like very gray and way outside of my like financial budget. But um, look over your copy and like give you tips on like how you can make it just a little bit stronger. What to do if your client is being like a pain in the ass. Like what to do if like they want this. What to make sure you say up front so you don't get screwed as the copywriter. See what I'm saying? Okay, so it'll be much more hands on, but I will need much more from you at the same time. See what I'm saying? So if you just want to like get some tips, advice, and like go off and do it on your own time, like the one hour is like the best option. But if you want to like go time and someone to, and my thoughts are like, if you want to go like another month or a month after that, I'm going to cap y'all three months just if you can't do it without me after that, then like I'm doing something so wrong. But um, yeah, so that's, like I said, for, for that also, there will be a link down below to the 
to my website where there will be the application so you can apply for that if that's something you want. Um, and then once I have these two narrowed down and I've gotten feedback from everybody, eventually I want to say like October, November, I will maybe do like a group class, which will be like much cheaper and like everybody can be like a part of it and we can all like work together on things and I can like walk you through the like five major steps of like zero to, I mean, as much success as like I can promise, which is like require so many other factors you're gonna be a millionaire by the time no i'm kidding i'm so kidding but that is it for now as always this is a long video here we go again okay good sorry future me for editing this now <laughs> okay <laughs> that is it guys and like i said i'm gonna take the next few days i'm going to film videos and i'm going to get them up me i don't produce enough content and i'm aware okay I'm just youtube is not my job one day i'll start like a patreon so i can like invest into this whole journey and like have it made sense so I can like time effective money anyway that is it I'm going to shut up now links down below I will see you guys in the next video thank you all for being awesome bye